Well, thousands of U.S. service personnel have returned from the battlefield with career-ending wounds, but many of them still have a sense of service and a lot of fight left in them. Now, some of them are putting their skills to work, chasing down people who abuse children. 24 elite war veterans from the U.S. Special Forces, whom the U.S. military spent more than a million dollars each training to be physically and mentally exceptional, are now prepping for a new mission. So the Hero Corps, being just the completely unique uh, program that it is, it gives a veteran the opportunity to not only take on a mission, but really, really go out and make efforts to rescue children. Jay Christian, a highly decorated Army Ranger, is the leader of a nonprofit called Protect. The group is partners with Homeland Security Investigations and U.S. Special Operations Command to train and place these veterans with law enforcement agencies around the country. You see groups of children being abused at levels the average uh, American can't, can't fathom, uh, and the abuse seems to be getting you know, more documented and worse. Protect says the United States is the world's largest producer of child pornography. The images, too hard to look at, often too horrible even to describe. But for these heroes, the idea of not taking action is not an option. But what we're dealing with is actual capturing of crime scenes. It gives you that sense of urgency to make sure that you're able to get there as fast as you can. And when they go out into the field, the main objective for the hero is to aid and assist in child rescue. Now these Hero Corps veterans share another trait. In order to qualify for the program, the veteran must have been wounded, ill, or injured in service to their country. Tom Block was the Army Times' 2014 Soldier of the Year. He was badly wounded during a raid in southern Afghanistan in 2013. A suicide bomber charged him and his team. The explosion went off just eight feet away. Um, we lost four friends that night to an uh, IED blast. Leveled some of the house, if not most of the house. Threw me back 30 feet into a ditch. Um, wounded a bunch, a bunch of others. Well, getting back to fighting shape wasn't easy either. Hero car, baby. After learning to walk again, Sergeant Block endured several reconstructive surgeries. Doctors couldn't save his right eye, but Block decided to use the setback to make a statement. I picked uh, Captain America's shield for my fake eye because I feel it's something that represents what I stand for in a big way. Um, he doesn't like bullies, neither do I. I'll let that serve as notice for anyone who may be terrorizing children. These veterans are gunning for you. For 11 News Now, I'm Joe Arena.